Hello and welcome to my process video for Scrap the Girls October Mood Board. I've had a bit of a creative block over the last week and a half, so what I wound up deciding to do was to put the three papers I was considering for my background down on my desk. And whenever I walked past my desk over Saturday and Sunday, I'd play with the embellishments, play with the papers until I had something I was happy with. So I have now um, sat down today and put it all together. <laughs> um, I'm just trimming my papers right now and starting to put everything together. I apologise if there is any background noise. It is a pupil free day, so my boys are home and I have a dog and there's birds outside, so it happens. Um, but hopefully it will stay quiet while I do this. <laughs> I'm just gessoing a tag, a craft tag from the reject shop and this lovely piece of chipboard from Two Crafty Chipboard, which was included in my prize pack for it was June Scrap the Boys challenge that I, I um, won one of the prizes in. And I've decided to colour the tag and the chipboard to pull the grey into the layout because currently there's no grey, but to also the two shades of purple in my roses. I want to pull them into other areas of the layout to give it some balance. And I thought about either using acrylic or distress stain. I got both out, but in the end, I went with Distress Stain because it just worked so lovely and in the end I just was really happy with the distressed look and the colours the way they've gone. Um, for the middle colour I originally started using Shaded Lilac but then I switched it to Milled Lavender because the Shaded Lilac was just too blue. I needed the more pink of the um, Milled Lavender. And just head to my blog to see the close-up photo of the tag because the camera I use for my videos has not picked up the colors very well of the tag but um, my phone did so <laughs> there'll be a photo on my blog of a close-up of the tag and so I'm just now adding that milled lavender with my fingertip because that's it in the end it was really weird the the gray and the darker purple they worked really well sorry weathered wood and seedless preserve they went on really beautifully but the two lighter colors they needed to be rubbed in with my finger so I'm just adding some weathered wood to the bottom of the paper I'd started adding it off camera but I turned the camera on and finished it and now I'm just adding my photo and my little piece of paper from the 6x6 paper pad from Kesa Crafts Looking Glass range and I've got this rose ribbon because the dress my daughter's wearing, the left shoulder actually has black rose, rose ribbon. The right shoulder has a spaghetti strap. So I just sort of tied that in as a little memory cue because there's actually a story behind why she wears dresses like that when, when she needs something um, sleeveless. Because she's been playing cello since she was eight, and which was six years before we knew she had a connective tissue disorder, her muscles have actually developed differently on each side of her body. So she actually now looks lopsided because one shoulder, the shoulder she bows with goes down and the shoulder she does the fingering with stays. The muscles have sort of pulled that shoulder up. Um, and I'm just starting to add things. And one, one of the first things I decided with the embellishments was over on the side of the page there, there's actually uh, some apricot partial flowers printed on. And so one of the first decisions I made was to cover those with roses that were the colours from the mood board and then to add some wood veneer leaves to sort of um, give it some depth and, and um, texture and I'm actually quite happy with how that turned out I, I, I really like it and then I decided to add music charms of course because it's all about the music <laughs> and now I've decided well I, one of the decisions I made when playing was that I didn't want the big cluster of flowers to actually be against my photo. I wanted them to be out a little bit to sort of draw your attention more to the music on the paper so that that then draws your attention to the fact that she's playing the cello because it, it was all about her playing Ave Maria at her aunt and uncle's wedding when she was 16. And so I'm just sticking my um, last of my flowers down and my charms and my wood veneer leaves and now my chipboard which I had decided I wanted one of the hearts to actually overlap the leaf there to 
give a bit more depth and texture, but also so that the edge of the, the branch of the heart vine could actually be at the edge of the paper. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, and I love it. Thank you for watching.